hello friends here i am going to introduce a new gbrush tool which i have created to improve my own workflow it will help you to create polygonal hair so here i am using this uh, default gbrush mesh over this i will draw some hair low poly hair which you can use in your gaming pipeline it can be even used for any kind of pipeline wherever you are using polygonal hair it's very handy and easy to use this is my tool from brush you can load and start drawing it will work in both mirror mode and without mirror mode it's up to you how you want to draw so simply i off the mirror and drawn this first here you can move it easily using its tip even you can uh, adjust the shape of it using brushes also first of all you need to split this into a different sub tool so i am i have used split and mask points now it has moved to a separate tool and in the separate sub tool you can start drawing however you want to draw you can draw easily it will give you some more features like if you want to increase the size of the polygon just increase the size of your brushes and click on the drawn strands it will that will increase the uh, polygon polygon size see i will show you Here I am using move brush to adjust the topology. See how nicely it is working. It's very handy and easy to easy to adjust any hair shape, any kind of hair. Even if you want to draw some different shape from it, first uh, make that a base. mesh for that object and then start drawing over that so it will take that shape see how nicely it is laid out there now i have split it this into a separate tool and i will merge both of these uh, tools into a single sub tool and i will export it as an obj and then i can take that obj into any software here i have created some test here earlier which i am replacing and i am showing this in 3ds max just simply click on import and select your obj and then import then turn on here hair cards are ready now you have to just go to the vertex mode and weld all of the unweld points make the threshold lower so it's very handy it can save a lots of your time if you want to go to create this in 3ds max it will take a lots of time i 
I will show you some example here. See, these are some examples which I have created. I was talking about this. To draw that, you need to create that shape first, then draw a hair over that. To buy this brush, you will find a link in the description. From there, you will be redirected to my website, and from there, you can buy it easily. Thank you for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get more helpful tools like this in future. Thank you.